Welcome back to I'll See Myself Out, starring Ryan Patel. Hey. And Norm Reynolds. Is it actually Terry with us today, or is it Terry's alter ego? It's yeah. Terrence Deadrock is your alter ego, right? What? Instead huh? of Terry Livingstone, it's Terrence Deadrock. Hold on. You can tell by how his retinas react to light. Are you confused? I am so confused right now. Yeah, that's the corpse haze. Is this like something you guys talked about? Because like, I am so lost. It's funny that he's acting like he's not in on this. I know. <laughs> this is weird. Like, do you guys talk about this while I was sleeping? This is your idea. Did we just like live in an alternate timeline? I think so. Welcome back to I'll See Myself Out. <laughs> Welcome back to I'll See Myself Out. My name is Norman Reynolds. I'm Dan Leeshaw. I'm Brian. I am Terry. And we're here to make you uncomfortable. Consider these your only warnings. We will use foul language. There will be spoilers. And I think there's going to be some foul language as well. How do we explain to people what Top Gun's about? I've got this one. I've been thinking a lot about this. Because I have to say, it was not about what I thought it was about, at least not the way I remembered it from the 20 years ago that I last watched it. Top Gun is an extended trailer of a movie with planes and romance. And awkward sex scenes. Yeah, that was the romance that I was talking about. You call that romance? Dude, I'm sorry. Those kissing scenes, which were AKA licking scenes. Yes, what was that? Wow, boy was I wet. I'm sorry, the last time that I kissed someone and I go bleh. Well, did you ever kiss anybody in the 90s? No. There you go. It was all the rage. They were licking each other like there's been a shortage of water and they just found a couple of raindrops on a window. Kind of like the start of Waterworld. That was like him pissing into a fucking coffee maker. <laughs> it wasn't the same thing at all. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard it put that way before. <laughs> Kevin Costner pissing in a coffee maker. This fucking movie really caught me off guard. I had really different expectations from what this movie delivered. Me too. We've already touched on a couple of pretty weird things. It's its own subcategory of sex scene in this movie. This movie might be the biggest misrepresentation of how the armed forces work on camera ever. I don't know, have you ever seen Forrest Gump? That might be more accurate than the opening sequence of this movie, which involved pretty much the entire flight crew of like an aircraft carrier, all making random hand gestures and high-fiving in an orange washed scene for the first five to 10 minutes of this movie. And then again, at the end of the movie, yeah. they brought it back to that same that yeah. same sequence. Yeah. I kept wondering, what's everybody doing in this opening sequence? Jets are just taking off and dudes are just like waving their arms around and high-fiving each other. The commander that is like their, the division commander for the flight crew is always overly sweaty for some reason. He's always sweating and always angry. Is he yeah. the guy that was constantly getting a new cup of coffee? Not the guy standing in the, in the tower when they would do flybys. Quick fun fact about this movie. Not really about the movie, but like real life okay. associated with the movie. There really is a Top Gun Academy uh, at Miramar, okay. and anybody that's, that's there uh, is issued a $5 fine for quoting this movie. Wow. I mean, I don't blame them. Just the basic premise of this movie starts off is where I started getting lost. I didn't realize that there was a Top Gun Academy, and I didn't really understand what the point of going to this academy was. I thought this would be like more of like an actual action plot, that there'd be a reason for them to be in jets for most of the yeah. movie. The, everybody's relationship in this film feels like inorganic and strange, and none of the things they, they do really seem seem like appropriately timed. So the next part of where the story takes us in the movie is like the relationship that Tom Cruise develops with like all of the other pilots in Top Gun Flight School, particularly Val Kilmer's character. Mad about again. Seeing Val Kilmer like that young in his career is like equally as weird as oh, like seeing him now in his career. Cause it was like before the prime of his career. You mean the Batman movie? Yeah. That's a <laughs> <laughs> so, slurp that one more time, Norm. It's so hard to make sense of anything in this movie. At least I found it that way. And even the scenes that seem to be like really big, like the singing scenes and like the the weird catchphrases. Uh, I just like don't know how to hop on board. Take me to bed or lose me forever. Who the fuck has ever said that? Show me the way home, honey. Oh. This is one of those movies that you need to watch when you're younger. You know those ones that you watch years later and you're like, it didn't hold up at all. Kind of like Ernest Scared Stupid. I actually love that movie from a, being a kid. It used yeah. to be one of my favorite movies. I watched it again recently. I wrecked it for myself. I was like, I remember just having such high regard for that movie and now I fucked it. You mean you sat through the entire scene where he almost gets crushed in his own trash compactor and you didn't feel transported <laughs> back to prepubescent states where you just life was simple and everything was great? All I could think about is how many cigarettes he must have smoked to get that voice. 
Now that you mention it, when you think, when I think back to that movie, Ernest Scared Stupid, I, that's how I imagine, um, you know the junkyard in that movie where the witch lives? I imagine that's what Terry's house looked like when he first got it. With fewer dildos. The, the junkyard was cleaner. <laughs> I want to talk about this movie more. We need to do an episode on Ernest Scared Stupid. Okay. Well, we'll circle yeah, back to it. Well, maybe we won't. If you want to see Ernest Scared Stupid on this show, say something in the comments. Let us know. Anything. Say anything. Say Monster. rubber baby bumper yeah. buttons. If you want us to review a movie about trolls that come from avocados falling on the ground. And their only weakness is milk. Is it milk? Is it not milk in that movie or no, is it milk? It, no, it's milk. There was he also miak. I feel like I just had a therapy breakthrough. I forgot that that was a thing until you brought it up. We're talking about Top Gun here. Let's, go, let's circle back to Top Gun. Favorite things? It ended. That was my favorite thing about the entire movie is it ended. That and some of the, the fighter pilot scenes like the actual where they're showing the plane flying. I honestly think that was real footage. My favorite it? part by a long shot and I actually love this about the movie was reminding me of the song Danger Zone by Dan Lee Show. Let us know. Does this look like Kenny Loggins? I really like the flybys. Sonic booms at the towers and just pissing people off. I loved when the young, the young bucks beat the old guys. I always like when you, there's like an underdog. There's like no way they're supposed to win, right? These guys have been in the game for years and then this like fresh blood comes in and just schools them. Something about that I like. But um, I'd have to say something that really sits on top for me, Death of Goose. That was your favorite scene? Yeah, because he just hits his head. He's like. Because he, he probably hit it at Mach 1. I'm sick. What can I say? Right into the danger zone. There's just something about me that, that got, you know, no, a little you, with that whole, uh, at, 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 don't, uh, at, don't, at, don't. Was he shattering again? No, he was getting a hard on. It's pushing his microphone. Something I thought was going to happen. I thought that jet wash thing was going to be used to their advantage later on in the movie, and that never happened. I think they missed the boat there. The favorite part of the movie for me was the way uh, Tom Cruise made me feel like I have a healthy relationship with my girlfriend, and um, that I might also be a superior lover compared to my original opinion, based on how the <laughs> sex scenes in this movie went. I mean, if we're going by today's standards, I'm. <laughs> I wouldn't buy me dinner. In 1986, I, I would have been railing Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, your, your lips were quivering when you said that. I mean, I didn't want to seem overconfident, but let's be honest, I'm feeling pretty excited. And that directly switches me over to the thing that I couldn't handle the most about this movie, the sex scenes between Tom Cruise and Charlie. I love the way that all the excitement in this movie is as PG as you can get while being happy. Like the high-fiving and the singing together. Oh, and the fucking beach volleyball? Oh, Oh my god. Yeah, what was that about? That was that's about masculinity. What I, that's the what I hated about this movie was that stupid beach volleyball scene. If you've never played beach volleyball, can you really call yourself a man? Not unless you're doing it in jeans. I have to say one of the most ridiculous scenes out of the movie for me was the scene when Tom Cruise storms off in his motorcycle, cutting off uh, whatever she was gonna say, and uh, she gets in her car and just starts driving, chasing after him like a crazy person yeah. through like red lights. And when she when she stops where he stopped, her whole point is you're not going to interrupt me. I wasn't finished. Yeah, I kept. I thought that was pretty crazy. The the relationship dynamics in this movie are fucking bizarre. Tom Cruise actually forgot his lines at that moment and ad libbed the kiss. There was actually supposed to be lines which were probably better than the kiss, but the director liked it. I, I read a bunch of fucking trivia on this movie for some reason. <laughs> I think I was like scrolling through trivia as I was watching for the movie. For some reason, it's not because I felt responsible to know more about it. I just locked into this trivia about Top Gun. On that last scene, I was like, he's definitely standing on something. They're the same height or if not he's a little bit taller in that shot but her head is so much bigger than his <laughs> is and like his frame is so much smaller it's like when you know it's a child in a booster seat their romance dynamic in the movie feels like so inorganic and awkward and yeah it's so weird it's it's like they didn't rehearse any of their lines or they forgot how casting works for this one movie. Things you didn't like? Uh, the entire movie. They tried to put action to cover up the bad dialogue. Like it was very much distraction and then they would have a really cool scene with an airplane. You're probably right. I think the first draft of the script of this movie was just planes and then they just went out from there. What I actually think the movie was, was a recruitment tactic by the US Navy. Another bit of trivia, the Navy actually put recruitment centers outside of a bunch of theaters and their enlistment rate was like maxed out that year. Because all the bros filtered out of the theaters, like high fiving each other. Danger zone! Yeah. And the guy at the recruitment center was like, oh, yeah, the danger zone. That's why you can't walk and see fucking come. <laughs>
The thing that I hated about it the most was that it took this long to come out with the second Top Gun. They're coming out with the second? Yeah, this year. Oh. And uh, Tom Cruise is instructing the Top Gun Academy, and uh, Goose's son is in, he joins. But I know, I guess I didn't realize that they were actually trying to tie in that much of the core film into the sequel from 34 years later. I hope he tries to take on Tom Cruise, beach volleyball. Oh, I thought you were going to say, like, kill Tom Cruise dies in an ejection accident. Goose's son actually, can, like, makes happen. Yeah, it happens in the first scene and the rest of it's just a court case but uh, the kissing the kissing is uh, clearly the worst part <laughs> i think they could have done without any romance plot in this movie it would have made i think the movie a lot better i would rather it sat watch someone fucking take a shit than watch this movie again is it just me or in this movie did val kilmer look like in every scene that he was in that he had just come out of like a fresh shower and was just sweaty and had some sort of weird weirdly spoken point to make. He never had like a calm moment in this movie. When you're half naked and sweaty, you have to make that angry point. That's the only time you can get proper like authority. No one just keeps shitting himself beside me. In a chart where we're all making jokes about shit, it goes joke, joke, weirder joke, weirder joke, somebody farts and almost shits their pants and that's the end of it. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Is I that... had to get up. Oh. Norm. <laughs> Norman. We want to thank our sponsors, Brock Street Espresso, for having us yet again. Come try their coffee. Coffee. They got good stuff. They have even better attitudes. Ryan, what do you want to say about Man Antler? Man Antler makes great beer. Nobody in this podcast works there. So this is completely, um, uh oh. <laughs> Abort! Abort! <laughs> I, I can't reach the eject handle. Goose! Man Antler is also one of our sponsors for this episode. They make great beer. They're located out in Bowmanville, and they hold a lot of great events at their brewery, actually, including open mic nights. And movie night, which yeah. they screened this movie last week. Doing that again next month. So if you've watched uh, Top Gun. I'm sorry. That too. We're all sorry. Let us know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with our opinions on this movie. If you disagree, I hope that the other people in your life have better taste than you do. If you haven't kissed anybody <laughs> yet, don't take any pointers from this movie. And if you have kissed somebody today, hit the like button. You're on an all raw meat diet, aren't you? It's called keto. <laughs> <laughs>